Hey everybody, welcome back to Now It's Dark. I just watched a really good movie called Low Lifes. Uh, and I say really good movie in my opinion. I don't know that this movie's going to work for everybody. It's on Tubi. It's on Tubi though. And um, I kind of associate a lot of uh, 2024 independent horror films that go to Tubi as kind of being a little bit lower tier movie for me. So I have like kind of low expectations going into it. This does have a 7.7 .7 star rating on IMDb. Granted, there's only under 100 reviews at the time that I filmed this. But uh, some of the actors and actresses that we'll get to in just a few minutes have been in some other movies that I've also liked. So maybe there's some sort of a team um, that worked on this film that had worked on previous films. The film's synopsis is the survival instincts of a road-tripping family are put to the test when they have no other choice but to stay the night at a remote homestead. And this was written by Al Kaplan, and then the directors are Tesh Glutakanda and Mitch Oliver, and I'm sure I butchered that one name. So we have a cast, uh, a family Amy, the daughter, played by Amanda Fix. She did a great job. Keith, played by Matthew McCall, and he was very recognizable. Definitely seen him in some other things. At first, I wasn't crazy about this character, but boy, dad grew on me. So Keith is the dad. Uh, definitely grew on me. Let's see. Jeffrey is played by Josh Zaharia, and he is the brother and son and Kathleen, the mom, is played by Alicia Levesque. And I know for sure I've seen movies with her in it. And uh, she's hit or miss. Um, but she's very good in this. That cast, that family, worked really well for me. And honestly, in the first 10 minutes, I wasn't so sure about this movie. Because it starts off with the family. They have this big, huge camper. And they're just camping on the side of the, or they're just parked on the side of the road having their dinner. And um, they did a lot of the tropey, angsty kids don't want to be out camping with their parents. And the parents are like, you got to finish your dinner. And uh, just very prudish uh, seeming parents, the mother and father, very polished and well dressed and well mannered. and giving off this very Christian vibe and that there's just a lot of prudeness to them, uh, almost on a campy level. And so then that that's why I kind of thought this tone was going to be a little weird. And then their dinner is interrupted by two um, inbredish um, hillbilly folk. And um, they, they, the movie does a good job of kind of exaggerating the inbredness uh, or the hillbilliness of these two characters. And we get the traditional, here we go, we've got these two guys kind of like invading this family's space, um, making inappropriate looks at the mom and the daughter, being very suggestive without being outright vulgar, but very borderline. Um, they need a ride. They need help. Um, you know, I skipped a little bit. I'm trying to keep spoiler free, but basically they need help. Um, their truck has broken down. And so the family decides to take one of the two cousins, brothers, uncles, whatever they were. Um, they do take one with them and leave the other at the truck. And then things get a little, you know, weird because now we have the family in the big camper, the big motor home, and we've got the one hillbilly, again, being kind of um, inappropriate with the looks and the stares and the comments, particularly at Amy, the uh, young daughter. And <clears throat> I failed to mention that the reason that the two guys had interrupted in the first place, aside from that in, in a little while they're going to need a ride, but... They were looking for a third member of their little group. And um, so they stopped to ask that family if they had seen him. That was the premise for, 
to which that is why they stopped. And so something happens in the uh, caravan there that causes the hillbilly to become suspicious all of a sudden. And then Jeffrey <laughs> makes this wild swerve out of nowhere um, thing. And the movie suddenly takes a big change. It, it drastically changes the tone and everything becomes a little different. And it was a pleasant surprise. It was a very fun. I was very happy about it. And I was like, yes, Jeffrey, way to go. Um, and he's just this impulsive kid. And it really changed the dynamic for this movie. It all went uphill from there. For me, the family um, ends up uh, making their way to the hillbillies homestead and we are introduced to two young ladies savannah and julianne uh sisters and we also meet the granddad and um i think he was played by todd masters and then just a little bit later we are introduced to big mac uh, and he is the boyfriend of <coughs> excuse me Julianne. So now we have the family in the home of the Hillbillies family, but it's it's four new parts of that. And we find out that everything's not what we thought it was at the beginning of the movie. It's a real good twisty uh switch. And I'm not gonna go into much more detail than that, but it is a fun ride. There's some very fun kills. There's some brutality in this. There is a lot going on that's all good, and it's very fun. We even get some girl-on-girl -girl action. It turns out that Amy and uh, Savannah may like uh, playing on the same team. And uh, for a few minutes, when it's uh, time to uh, have everybody find a bedroom to... Uh, check up for the night these two young ladies uh happened in the same room and um again it's a scene there it's a it's a string of scenes between these two girls that you know we're going in a direction we're going in a direction and for the pervs out there and the old men in their 50s that watch horror movies just for boobs and teen girls kissing um this is a gratifying scene but then it goes even one step further, and, and it's a very fun. And then we have Impulsive Jeffrey doing crazy teen boy stuff. And it's just a really fun ride. And it's on Tubi. This is one of the higher tier horror movies of 2024 on Tubi right now, in my opinion. So I highly recommend you get off of YouTube right after this review. Go to Tubi. Look up Low Lowlifes. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think Lowlifes may be an unfortunate title for this movie. I get why they called it Lowlifes, but um, I think there might have been a better title that would, would draw more people to watching this. So I'm not sure. If you check it out, let me know. If you've already checked it out, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I, I have such a range of of likes when it comes to horror and dislikes that it's very bizarre to pinpoint when I'm going to like something or when I'm going to hate it. Um, but I was very happy I watched this movie. I hope you will be. Keep coming back to the channel for more great movie reviews and other junk. Row 18, plot 20. <laughs>